and welcome to my next story where the tiny dragons will dive into a Christmas wonderland. One quiet evening, under a starlight sky, Lala and Draco gazed upwards. The moon cast a gentle glow and a cool breeze rustled the leaves around them. In this magical place, they spotted a ship, not just any ship, but a grand vessel with glowing pink sails and jingled bells floating in the night sky. Both dragons, curious and adventurous by nature, were immediately drawn to the ship. Lila, with her sparkling scales, and Draco, ever the brave one, scampered up the ladder, dangling from the ship. Aboard the ship, they were greeted by a warm and jolly figure, Santa Claus himself! <gasps> with a twinkle in his eye, and a hearty laugh, Santa welcomed the tiny dragons on board. He praised their good hearts and invited them to a grand Christmas party. Overjoyed, Lalo and Draco asked if they could bring some friends, and Santa, with his kind heart, agreed. The dragons then embarked on a whirlwind journey, hopping from one magical book to another, on Santa's ship inviting their friends the phoenix fox from its fiery hot desert, rose the fish with rose petals, Maku the slick jaguar, and Zara the talking toucan from the dense jungle, mountain lion Leo, Bruno a big and strong bear like the old trees, Polars a big and friendly polar bear, and Aura a quick and clever arctic fox. Along came the sea creatures from the Kraken story, dolphin Delphi, and the pufferfish, parrotfish, and silverfish, accompanied by the slow-moving turtle, who had once helped them out with the naughty kraken. With their friends gathered, they set off for the North Pole, excitement bubbling within them. They were eager to meet the real elves, busy crafting toys for children worldwide. However, their journey took an unexpected turn when a pirate ship with black, ghostly sails appeared on the, their horizon. The mood shifted as the tension filled the air. The pirates, seeking the treasure, launched an attack. Cannibal! Cannibals roared through the sky. Santa's ship, now damaged, landed on the sea to continue the fight. The battle raged forward for an hour until something extraordinary happened. A crack formed in the water and the kraken, once a foy, emerged. The kraken dodging cannibals who turned the tide of the battle. It grew larger and larger, eventually attacking the pirate ship, which sank into the ocean deeps. Realizing its past Past misdeeds, the Kraken expressed a desire to change and become a friend. Santa, with open arms, welcomed the Kraken, forgiving its past and inviting it to the party. The Kraken, now a bit smaller, joined the party in a specially made large fish tank, celebrating amongst side the sea creatures who also joined the party. Upon reaching the North Pole, they were greeted by Mrs. Claus with warm hugs. The workshop was a sight to behold. Elves bustling about, making toys and an array of delicious cookies. Yum! In this festive atmosphere, everyone enjoyed themselves. Lila and Draco played snowball fights with the Kraken, who su surprisingly won with its numerous tentacles. Each guest, including the dragons, received a special gift from the elves. As the story draws to a close, Santa Claus asked Lilo and Draco a heartful question. Do you want to be my helpers and stay with me? Overwhelmed with joy and a sense of belonging, they agreed. In Santa's village, Lilo and Draco didn't forget their magical books. They often revisited their friends in the book worlds, sharing laughs and reminding about their adventures. But back in the village, they became cheerful helpers, spreading brightness and love to all children all over the world every Christmas. 
Thanks for watching, guys.